Hello friends. In this particular video, I am going to discuss how you can use user defined function on a particular column of your data frame which you have created in Panda Python. Okay. So first of all, we need to import the Panda module. So import pandas as PD and then what we are doing, we are basically reading our CSV file which is having the name laptop analysis source file which contains data about uh, different uh, laptops, uh, their companies, their cost, their RAM size, their CPU information, memory, uh, rating, those things. Okay. So P is equal to pd.readcsv. Read CSV is used to read CSV file. Then I have given the address and then file name laptop analysis source file.csv and the encoding. Okay. Now what I have done, I want to get the top five elements. Just I want to check whether uh, data frame is successfully created or not. So ps.head. If I execute this, top five uh, rows will be shown. As here you can see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, top five rows are shown. Okay. And the columns having name like company, product, type name, inches, screen resolution, etc, etc. Different features about laptop data. Okay. Now, first of all, the most one of the most important part in data uh, pre-processing is removing or handling the null values okay suppose i have sent you one google form and what you do you just uh, skip some questions which are not necessary to give the answer okay so as a result when i will be getting all the responses corresponding to that particular question someone will be giving answer someone will be giving no answer. So there will be null value present. Okay, so we have to take care of that. So how to understand whether null value is present or not in our data set. For that, what you can do, you just simply write your data frame name dot info. Okay, and execute. You will be getting the information about your data frame. Each column's information you will be getting. And here if you closely observe, here this particular column is giving us the count of our uh, elements present in each column. Okay, so if you observe in our data set for all the columns, same number of elements that is 1303 is present. So basically, which is indicating there is no null value present in any column of our data set. Now you may think why we are not using describe because describe not only gives us the count value along with that it will also give us some statistical information about each column like if i write here describe and click enter see we will be getting count mean standard deviation median then max mean etc we will be getting so why we are not uh, using this the main reason is that the describe gives us the information about those columns present in the data frame only which are basically of numeric data type okay like here unnamed inches price in euros rating popularity number so like this which are numeric data but it is not giving the information about company product or memory or GPU or CPU okay whether in this column if any null value present or not you will be not getting from this particular output of describe here you will be getting count okay you will observe okay 1303 1303 1303 okay fine so that means there is no null value present in the numeric columns but you should also get the information about categorical columns that means the column which are having string data type so for that we are uh, using info to check whether null value present or not okay so in this particular data set there is no null value present because we are getting the count of elements for all the columns as same okay this is one of the easiest way to check null value present or not so now uh, in my next video i will show you how you can handle null values and in this particular video i am going to show you some other processing like if you observe our data set if you just consider the RAM column, okay, what it is written 8 GB, 8 GB, 16 GB, like that. Okay, now we know that, okay, fine, the data set is given in terms of GB, that is gigabyte, but you cannot directly use the string data because these are strings. So 
comparison like 8 gb 16 gb if these are in integer then that will be easier for us to compare and perform some operation on this right so what i am going to do i am going to make this particular column as integer i will take only the integer part that is 8 8 16 like that that how to process i am going to show you and for that i am going to use user defined function okay so what i have written i have written one simple user defined function udf this is also called in small form that is user defined function udf okay so my function is def ram correct x okay x is which are passing through our function and then i am taking e equal to x 0 colon length of x minus 2 basically i am taking this substring starting from 0th index to length of x minus 2 why because if you observe 8 gb 8 gb 16 gb so last two there is g and b we have to remove right so 0 to length of the string minus 2 will give me the our original in interest that is the numeric or integer part okay so that i have used this particular part x 0 colon length of x minus 2 and then that is in string format this particular e is substring right now to convert into integer c equal to int and then return c so this is our what our user defined function now what we want to do we want to apply our this particular user defined function on all the elements of our this particular RAM column of the PS data frame. Okay, so for that, what you have to write PS that is data frame name. Then inside this square bracket, you have to give the column name like here RAM. Okay, so PS RAM equal to PS RAM dot apply RAM correct. That's all. What is that? Let me explain. So what I am doing, PS RAM, I am taking that particular column from my data frame. I am using apply, this apply, what it will do, it will apply the particular user defined function on all the elements present in the particular column named RAM. Okay, so apply and then I am giving inside parenthesis, I am giving my function name, user defined function, which is RAM, correct. Okay, and that whatever output we will be getting that I am storing in same column that is PS RAM. Okay, just let me execute this particular part. Now, if I uh, run PS info, you will be noticing one important change. Like here we are getting info after applying RAM correct and here also we are getting uh, data frame information before applying RAM correct. So now you just check the RAM data set before applying RAM correct user defined function is not null object, but after applying user defined function, it became not null int 64. That means it is converted into integer. Okay, now we can apply numeric uh, processing concepts on that RAM data set. Same goes for some other columns also. Like here, if you consider weight, Weight is 1.37 kg, 1.34 kg. So kg has to be removed so that we can use some computation on the numerical part of weight. So what we can do, use the same function, just what we have done here, just same function I have written, same thing here only. And then ps weight equal to ps weight dot apply RAM, correct. I am using the same uh, logic whatever I have just discussed earlier that is on the weight column I will be overriding my uh, output of the uh, function RAM correct which will be getting uh, after giving input as weight okay that's all so just let, let me execute this particular part some error we are getting invalid int uh, okay, just one second. Okay, so one important thing is in the weight data set here 1.37 kg. So 1.37 is float, right? So we have to use float data type. So here you can see in the function I have changed a bit. I have typecasted here to float. Okay, keep this particular part in mind. So now if I run this. Now I am simply executing ps.head. See, in the weight part, what we are getting 1.37, 1.34, that is only the 
numerical part okay here in this particular case it is a float data type because uh, decimal point is present there okay so this is how we can process our weight column next see in our main data frame here if you closely observe price in euros is given okay so before processing you may want to convert into rupees so use the same logic create another user defined function here i have created data frame ram correct take same function i have uh, taken the name c equal to x into 83.19 because 1 euro equal to something 83.19 indian rupees so that i have written like this and return c and this particular operation we are applying on price euro so ps price euros dot apply ram correct but the point to be noted here I am not storing the output in the price euros column. I am creating one new column that is price rupees. Okay. So what will be happening? The output will be stored in a new column in the data frame. One new column will be created with the name price rupees. Okay. So just let me run this particular part and this part. And then if I click enter, see what you will be getting in the uh, data frame. At the end, price rupees will be added as a new column and the rupee version of the uh, euros will be stored here. Okay, here, I hope here you can observe in this last column. Now, we don't require the euros column, right? Price euros column is not required because we require price rupees. That's why we have done this pre-processing. So, what we can do? Simple, we will take those columns only which is our point of interest and using those columns of the PS data frame, we will be creating one new data frame. So that's what I have written here. PU is our new data frame name equal to PS. Then choose the columns which is your requirement. Company, product, type name, inches, screen resolution, CPU, RAM, memory, GPU, operating system, weight, price, rupees, rating, popularity number. See, I have not taken price euros. Instead of that, I have taken price rupees. And don't forget to keep these column names inside double square bracket because to select a particular column of data frame, you must have to give double square bracket. Okay. And then pu.head, if I write and uh, just uh, run the code, we will be getting our data frame and it is ready for pre-processing. That is processing because the RAM, we have now integer values weight also uh, pure form not a string there is float form and the price is in rupees okay now different queries uh, you can generate in your mind do some visualization get some output and like that you can analyze your data set okay so this is how you can apply user defined function in the data frame column in pandas uh, which is very very important part in data pre-processing okay and this is all for my this video in my next video i will show you some more processing thank you for watching